battery chargers and ACRs. Don't forget, this battery charger, 80 amps, is perfect for a battery bank with uh, 800 amps, because this is 10% of this. Can I use another one, 60 amps? You can, but spend more time. 80 is the minimum for that battery bank, 800 amps. What happens if uh, this one is 100 amps and the, and the battery bank, 800? Pay attention, the battery bank, 800, and the charger, 100. That's perfect, because the minimum for that is 80, and this one now is 100, that's perfect. Good? All right. This is the criteria for, uh, for the battery charger with respect to the battery bank. Suppose that I have a boat, and uh, the boat have a uh, one battery charger and one alternator. Pay attention. The capacity, the capacity of the of the battery bank is 600 amps. My battery charger is okay because it's 60 or 80 like this. It's perfect. The charger. How much should be? And I am going to introduce here the power coming in from the from the charger. And here, the power coming in from the alternator. How much should be the capacity of the alternator? Remember, I have a battery bank of 600. Divided in three battery banks, 200, 200, and 200. One output, two output, three outputs. That's okay? Mm -hmm. The battery charger provide here 80 amps. It's perfect. The minimum should be 60, but supply 80, that's perfect. How much should be the capacity of the alternator here in amps? Because remember, what is the idea of the ACR? If I don't have the short power connected, I don't have battery charger, I have alternator because the engine is running. And with the alternator, I want to keep those three banks charged. Should be at least 60? Should be at least 60. 60 or higher the capacity of the alternator. Should be the same capacity or similar capacity than the battery charger, because the idea is if I don't have this input, I have that input. Or if I have both of them, this element regulate and keep charged those three battery banks equal. Other important thing, other important thing. Those three battery banks, in this particular case with this ACR, those three battery banks should be the same type of batteries. Let acid, let acid, let acid. Gel, gel, gel. AGM, AGM, AGM. And your alternator should be good for that type of battery. Because there are alternators for lead acid batteries, but not for uh, AGM. And also, the majority of those elements, if, uh, if you remove that one in the back, you remember, they have the option for gel or lead acid, or you can change. Okay, that's okay, guys? It's clear the ACR, it's clear the battery charger, and it's clear the alternator. Remember, the alternator is another battery charger. The difference between the alternator and the, and the typical battery charger is what? The input power from the alternator is mechanical power with the belt. No, and uh, the input power of the of the battery charger is AC power. I plug, I I plug. Where I found it, the breaker to activate those battery chargers. In which panel? In the AC panel or in the DC panel? You have you have one or two of those battery chargers in your boat. In which panel you found it, the breaker to activate that panel, that that equipment? AC. What is the input? The input is AC. Ah, one of the breakers say, ah, oh, battery charger number one. Ah, this is the battery charger for that group of Battery charger number two, air condition number one, air AC panel, AC panel, AC panel. And where is going the output? Where is going the output of this equipment, battery charger, positive and negative? ACR. To the ACR, to the ACR. And after the ACR, to the positive of this bank, positive of this bank, and positive of this bank. 
that's clear. Inputs and three outputs. In this case, 